In this video, let us discuss about types of forces acting on a body or an object and then we will discuss the most important topic that is about equation of equilibrium. First types of forces. Various types of forces acting on a body and which are classified mainly into two groups that is applied forces and non-applied forces. First applied forces. As the name tells, these are forces applied externally to a body. Each of these force has got a point of contact with the body. Example, if we keep our hand on a table, the weight of our hand is an applied force to that table. And also, if a temple car is pulled, the force in the robe is also applied force for the car. Next, non-applied forces. There are two types of non-applied forces, self-weight and reactions. Self-weight. Each and every object is subjected to gravitational attraction and hence has got self-weight, which is given by W is equal to mg, where m is mass of body or object, g is gravitational attraction, that is 9.81 meter per second square. Self-weight always acts in vertically downward direction only. Next, reactions. Reactions are self-adjusting forces developed in the body or object. According to Newton's third law of motion, reactions are equal and opposite to actions. The reactions adjust themselves to keep the body in equilibrium. Equilibrium. What is equilibrium? Equilibrium is a condition where all the forces are balanced or simply we can say the forces are cancelled out. General rules is that anything that cannot be moved is in equilibrium. Equilibrium may be static or it may be of dynamic. In day to day life we will see with many examples of equilibrium like a book is kept on a table at rest position, a car is moving at constant velocity and many more etc. Now we will see why equilibrium is that important in civil engineering. The concept of equilibrium is very important that every civil engineer must be known because every structure that can be seen to remain standing on a daily basis is in equilibrium that is in static equilibrium at rest position. A structure is in equilibrium when all the forces or moments acting upon are balanced or there is a net resultant of zero in all direction for all the applied loads and reactions. So the equilibrium condition is very important in civil engineering for analyzing any structure. Next equations of equilibrium. According to Newton's first law, the body is in a static equilibrium or in uniform motion unless external force acting on it. Hence, if a body is in equilibrium, we can conclude that the resultant for various forces in a system is zero and also sum of the moments of the forces is also zero. It means the resultant force R which is equal to sum of the forces which is equal to zero and sum of the moment is equal to zero. If we take two dimensional system, it has only x axis and y axis. Then the equation of equilibriums are the sum of the forces in x direction that is horizontal direction is equal to 0 and the sum of the forces in y direction that is vertical direction is equal to 0 and sum of the moment of forces is equal to 0. And if we see three dimensional system it has x, y and z axis then equations of equilibrium are the sum of the forces in x direction, y direction and z direction is equal to 0 and also we will get moment in all three directions that is x, y and z direction is equal to 0. These are the equilibrium equations in 2D and 3D systems. By using this equation of equilibrium, the reaction forces can be determined. Finding the reaction forces by applying equilibrium conditions is the most important step in analysis of any structure. If you have any suggestions or any doubt, let me know in comment section. Please like, share and subscribe to Civil Today. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.